Uh, let's do some Python on hardware. We've got some news and reviews and more from the newsletter. Some good projects in the newsletter this week. Yeah. So this week, uh, we cover a lot. So in addition to CircuitPython 8210 release news, you can check out the notes, um, news in the industry uh, for those who design um, Python on hardware. Um, Renaissance bought uh, Altium for $5.9 billion. That's a lot. More consolidation in the industry. So uh, Autodesk has EagleCAD. Yeah. And Renaissance has Altium. And uh, Ki uh, KiCad, or KiCad, depending on how you pronounce it, is free and open source. Um, some of our folks at Adafruit use KiCad. We're moving towards it. We have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Eagle, obviously. Um, we'll see what happens in the industry and um, what folks use. So what's the is there any other ones that people use that are going to get gobbled up or, or already can but i think that isn't owned by anybody yeah. is another popular one altium is like very popular uh, a lot of people yeah that's, like, that's kind of the one right it's like the number that's one most uh pirated <laughs> and then yeah. yeah orcat is used by some people as well um, yeah. but i i use eagle cat i still have and then eagle cat is kind of going away it is the 2026 is the end date and I'm, I'm slowly slowly you know i just wanted to get all these revisions done and i didn't want to like take yeah. two things so i wanted to do little revisions now that the revisions are done i'm kind of looking again at you can yep uh telegraph interviews of an update about the upcoming stock ipo that is uh, raspberry pi going public hands-on with the bus pirate um some python packaging in rust you have another raspberry pi 5 review uh helen is interviewed by the embedded fm podcast really good podcast okay. Check that out. And then um, all the projects. This was a neat one. This was that Radio Shack, um, you know, 101. We, and we now do it. added the yeah. Pico. Um, our popular post of the week last week was the Raspberry Pi alternatives. We also talked about Blinka on the show last week and more. And then we have some custom firmware. Web for, workflow got some work today, by the workflow, way. Like, today, yeah. like hot news, by the way. If you're, yeah. if you're like, I want to use uh, press. Um, it's back. But uh, let's talk about, you wanted to talk about, um, there was an update. Uh, yes. For Memento. Yeah. So Memento, specifically this board, um, had a little bit of a bug in uh, CircuitPython 9 Beta 1 and earlier um, that uh, made it so that if you were using the internal file system, the CircuitPy drive, and you dragged really big files, you could accidentally crash the board because it thought that it had a three megabyte drive, but it actually doesn't. It has a one megabyte drive. Uh, and so it gets very confused. Um, good news, it's not going to damage your hardware. But what you should do is if you have a Memento and you are running, um, if you've installed something before CircuitPython 9 Beta 2, you'll have to erase the file system to kind of reset the board. Um, or you can uh, install the, the factory firmware reset over again. Um, if you've never installed CircuitPython before, as long as you install Beta 2 or above, you won't get that bug where it accidentally thinks that it's three megabytes, but it's not. Again, it doesn't damage your hardware, but we want to make sure you don't crash your board because that's sad. You don't want to crash your board. Um, but thanks to Jeppler and Dan Scott who fixed this super fast. Okay, great. It's all part of our newsletter. You can go to adafruitdaily.com, sign up for the Python on Hardware newsletter, or you can read it online. You can read on GitHub. You can do an RSS feed. It's all part of Adafruit Daily, completely separate site, so you don't have to worry about getting spammed. We promise, but what are promises anymore? Um, you, have to prove it. you have to prove it, yeah. 